What is going on guys and today I realized I haven't made an updated top 5 coasters at King's Island since Orion came out and to be honest my opinions have changed a lot you know even without Orion coming in. So without further ado I'm going to list my top 5 coasters. Now King's Island is my home park. I've gone you know just to ride Banshee 10 times, get food and leave. You know I've ridden these rides a lot so I'm going to try to go you know in depth. I'm going to really try to describe you know why I have each ride place where it is. But without further ado, here's going to be my top five coasters at Kings Island, but I do have two honorable mentions. Alright, now the two honorable mentions are kind of honest, but it's it's really sad to have these two great rides that are both defunct now. But honestly, for the purpose of this list, it makes it a little bit easier because I, I know at least one or I could see both of these rides could have squeezed into my top five. But it's going to be Firehawk and Vortex. Now, these rides were absolutely amazing. And after doing Vortex and, you know... Viper down at Six Flags Magic Mountain. I think you know I might have liked Viper a little bit bigger, but Vortex was overall it was a funner ride. And if you never got to do Vortex in the back car with that first drop over after the turn, it was absolutely amazing. And it was one of honestly my favorite drops at Kings Island in that row. It just it had a great it had some great inversions. It sped through those loops. They were intense. The course crews were great, and it was just absolutely amazing. Then Firehawk on the other hand. I've only done two of the Vacoma Flying uh, Dutchmans, Firehawk and Nighthawk, and Nighthawk was rough, but Firehawk was absolutely butter smooth. I really enjoyed this ride, and it was so unique. I loved doing it when, you know, it didn't have a line most of the times I went to the park. But unfortunately, you know, that last year it got a line, and seeing that, and then going back and seeing the queue, you know, it's sad. And, and our own Tyler is very sad that they didn't use, you know, all of Firehawk's plot for uh, Orion. So here's going to be our two honorable mentions because they are defunct, Firehawk and Vortex. Very sad, but they were very great rides here at Kings Island. Alright, and now here's where it gets tricky. Coming in at the number 5 spot, I do have Diamondback. I know that's going to be a shocker to so many people. This list, I'm going to say right now, is very different to most people's lists. My number 2 is very different. It's just the whole list is different. But number 5 is Diamondback. Now this ride, the drop is great, you know, I, and I love it in the front. The front is a very unique ride. You get nice airtime over the hills in the front half. And then in the back, it's great. You get nice drop nice airtime over the front hills but after that mid course the second half of the ride is just so dull the helix you know, is nice and then you do get a nice pop of ejector going over down into the what into not the water break the splash down into the when you go down into that in the back in the back row you do get a nice pop of airtime but the front half of this ride is so amazing one of the best of any hypers in the front you get some awesome airtime like i said in the back you get awesome air time, but after that, the mid course, you know, you go over those second hills so slow that I don't know. This ride, it's just it sort of dies out for me at that point, and it's enough to make it at the number five spot. And it is not the smoothest ride ever, and people are gonna kill me. They already have for saying that about this ride. But Theme Park Worldwide got off the ride, who's been on many many BNMs, and said it didn't even feel like a BNM. That's how rough it was. That's not to say this is not a bad ride. The airtime you get in the first half is actually stellar but just it, it's it's a number five ride here at king's island just for me all right now moving on from one controversial opinion to the next i have mystic timbers at the number four spot now this, this is, again this is not to say that this is a bad addition this is a great ride a great family coaster probably my second favorite you know gci well ghost rider is not not technically a GCI, but so it's, this is just a great ride. The drop is one of the best in Kings Island at Kings Island. Excuse me. I love how it's not banked fully, so you do get some nice laterals. There's some nice airtime moments going up into that turnaround. Is a nice airtime moment, and then going down into those first two hills after that turnaround that goes over the lift. So those are my two favorite airtime hills on the ride. But the rest of the ride, you know, the S turns, they're you know they're fine. They do throw some laterals at you. They're nice. They're a little repetitive because there's the two that are you know right in a row and then that turnaround's a little dull and then the rest of the airtime on the ride to me just isn't as strong as those two hills you know when you go right down and you have the most speed after that but it's still definitely a good ride it just this is not my favorite woody at king's island you know 
it takes the number four spot for me. And I'm just so sorry to say that. I've done this so many times. I have done the night ride on this, and I'm going to say the Beast Night Ride is much better than this. Not to say that this is a bad night ride. Both are great rides, but this ride, you know, it's a this is a great ride. Kings Island has a lot of good rides, and you know, having done them so many times, it's really hard to rank. But when I go and decide which ones I would rather do, Mystic comes in at number four. All right, now coming at the number three spot is the newest attraction to come to Kings Island and the attraction that I have ridden the least. Now, I will admit, I know everybody says that you love this ride more as, you know, as you ride it more. And that's, I don't hate the ride. I don't, I do. I love this ride and it's a great addition. The fact that from so many angles in the park, you can see a Giga now is absolutely amazing. And you're going to see, I'm very proud of how some of these pictures came out of Orion. It's such a beautiful color and I love how it looks with the sky. But this is a great ride. You know, there is some very intense moments. The drop is great. I'm not going to say it's my favorite drop at the park. The, you know, the airtime is, it's all right. That that speed hill is great. The big hill, you know, I thought was a little overhyped. And then that, that helix is actually pretty intense. I really enjoyed that. And then going into that last turn right before the break one, that's a little bit like Fury's treble clef. That's how I would describe how it feels, you know, but just the other way. And I feel like the treble clef did it a lot better. But that's again, that's not to say that this is a bad ride. This is such a beautiful coaster. And I did get to do it in the front row, and I absolutely loved it. The amount of wind in your face is awesome. I don't know how my mask stayed on. But this is just such a beautiful ride. There, There is so, so much speed to it. You enjoy going throughout the ride. But I just think this is my number three ride at Kings Island when I definitely do think I like the two coasters I have above it better and I'd rather do them than this ride. But this is not to say that this is a bad coaster. And while I'm showcasing a few of the pictures I've gotten here at the park, I'm going to shout out my Instagram. It is at T-A-Y-T underscore I-N-S-T-A. Some of these, you know, these nice pictures of Orion are on there. And I have so many nice pictures of, you know, like Accelerator. I love getting the sun in my pictures. I try to take a lot of pictures at parks now. And I love going back and looking at them. And Some of them do come out very nicely. So be sure to follow at T-A-Y-T underscore I-N-S-T-A. And I do, I post every time I upload a video on the stories as well on that. So be sure to go follow and connect with me there. All right, now coming in at the number two spot is the most controversial, well, maybe, opinion of the list, and it's going to be The Beast. And I absolutely have just fallen in love with this ride, having done it so many times. It is definitely a must ride every time I go. And I, I will be the first to admit, there is no airtime on this ride, but just I love the old school banking. There is lateral Gs on every turn. And I will say this again, that if you were to time the lateral moments of the S-curves that the S-curves give on Mystics and, you know, maybe the turnaround or just any moment where there could be lateral Gs on Mystic and then time just the helix of the beast, that alone is like three times longer than the amount of lateral Gs you get on Mystic. And I just, I love this ride. It is so old school. It is rough around the edges, but I, I've actually come to like that about this ride, and I do not do that very often when it comes to rides. I just, I don't, I don't know something about this ride. The charm is absolutely amazing, and I remember doing my first night ride where I couldn't see my hand in front of my face. Now I don't know how that happened. I have not had that experience happen since, but I, I, I do love the night rides. It's absolutely amazing going through the forest, not being able to see once you go past that light on the lift hill. The helix is absolutely amazing. The banking, how it is, it just cuts off in the second half of the helix. That you just the laterals in are absolutely amazing. Going through the forest, just such a cool, such a cool sensation. And I definitely feel like it is a must ride for every time I go to Kings Island. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that leaves one ride to list, and coming in at the number one spot is Banshee at Kings Island. Now, this ride is absolutely beautiful. I love the color scheme. They really put that in the Sun of East spot well and made it look great. I love the purple and the the loop going through the lift hill is absolutely amazing. But going through the ride experience. You go through the lift hill, it's a fast lift hill, but that drop is absolutely amazing, especially in the back. It is a must-ride experience in the back on one of the side rows on the back because you absolutely get pulled over that hill and then jerked to the um, to the way of the drop, and it is absolutely amazing. The rest of the ride is a little rough, but it's nice getting pulled through those inversions. Front row ride on this is absolutely beautiful. Seeing the track as you're flowing through it is such a beautiful experience. You know, the dive loop's a little basic. The loop around 
the lift hill is absolutely beautiful, especially to take pictures of. I absolutely love the zero G. You know, some people say it's boring. I love this. I just put my hands out and glide through it. And then you've got the actually the, the part where you pick up the most speed is through that pretzel loop and at the bottom of that, which is an absolutely intense experience. And then going through the second half of that, you absolutely shoot through the second loop. You know, the second loop is definitely much better than the first one on this ride. And then after that second loop that I honestly think they should put a trim before, you get that nice jerk to the right that's pretty intense and a nice inline twist that offers some amazing hang time, an amazing finale. But that's not the finale because there's two intense turns after that, and then a nice intense jerk, or there's that intense helix and then a nice jerk into the brake run. This ride is absolutely amazing and you know, people love to say that it's not as intense, you know, it doesn't snap through the ride like the rest of it, but it, you're right, it doesn't, but it is still element after element after element, and it is definitely intense, I feel like, in those valleys, and having done this right after I did my front row ride on Orion, I definitely think this is the more intense ride, so I definitely think this ride deserves to be my number one at Kings Island. Alright, I appreciate you guys for watching that video. You know, this is my list, you know, from coming to love my home park so much and doing the rides so many times over. This is just how my list, you know, worked out. Obviously, I've had better rides on some coasters than on others. You know, I've done them all when they're slow, all when they're hot. And this is just how my list shaped out after all of that. But be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Can you catch me?